Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about uh, beam design using Robert structural analysis. Here we have an example about the determination of a flexural strength of a W shape of uh, A242 steel grade. When this beam is subjected to continuous, uh, continuous lateral support, this is the first scenario. And the second scenario, when the unbraced length of the beam is 20 feet with the CV is equal to 1. And the third scenario is unbraced length of 30 feet with CV is equal to 1. Before starting uh, this, uh, like uh, solving this problem, I would like to show you something like a, the graphical, uh, the, the graphical uh, relation between the unbraced length and the MN, the design moment. So when the unbraced length is uh, from 0 to LP, the beam will fail plastically. That means the plastic moment will govern. That means we have no lateral torsional buckling in this region. Well, when LB is smaller or equal to LB, okay? When our unbraced length is between LP and LR, the beam will fail you by lateral torsional buckling in a, inelastically. That's why we call this region inelastic lateral torsional buckling. Okay, so if our L bracing was greater than LR, so the failure mode uh, will be the elastic lateral torsional buckling. The beam will fail elastically in lateral torsional buckling. Okay, so our first scenario will become here, and the second scenario, uh, the third scenario. Okay, let's get started. Let's create a new project using a 2D project because our beam is uh, uh, the structure type is 2D. Okay, click on new and select 2D uh, 2D structure. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, prepare our job preference for that. Go to tools, job preference, or using tools here, uh, job preference units. Here is the imperial, yes and go to the materials using American uh, material database American uh, and steel like uh, this is the our steel grid okay and the database the section database here uh, steel yeah we have your code and ASIC this example is uh, we are using ASIC, okay, and design codes also for design steel structures we use ASIC uh, 2216 version, okay, okay, go, cool. okay, and let's create our grid system. Uh, we have to create two projects, two grid system because uh, for applying the second and the third scenario, okay, so let's create zero and 20 feet and let's create a gap between them 30 feet and another 30 feet is uh, 60 feet okay and z we don't have any z axis only at zero apply okay this is uh, for beam one and this is for beam two okay go to the members and uh, here we will change the, the member type later but for now use a simple member as a section uh, let us go to standards and eye shapes change the work to ASIC and W shapes our shape is W40 by 68 40 by 68 14 by 68 it's here add and create this is a first beam and this is a second beam okay and our beam is simply supported. Let's select all nodes, go to the supports, and pin it. OK. So let's create a load case only for analysis. Uh, OK, so run the analysis. Separate structure, it's, it's OK. And go to the steel, steel design here, or you can access steel design from here. Steel design, steel aluminum design. OK. So the the very important part of this video is uh, starting from here okay so let's create a member type for these two structures okay click here and uh, we're gonna start a new 
a new member type for our beams. Okay, right click. Let's create beam when LB is equal to zero. Okay. Okay. There's no need to uh, no need to check for flexural buckling. So use uh, this button. Okay. No need for flexural torsional buckling. Also. The CB is equal to one because our example says the CB is equal to one. Okay. And upper flange and lower flange. The upper flange here, the example says continuous lateral support, mean meaning the LB is equal to zero. Okay. Here, LB is equal to one. Let's change it to zero. Click the upper flange and go to here, LB for the factor. This factor will multiply by L. Here, we should input zero. Okay. Then for both lower flange and upper flange. Only upper flange affects our design, but uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so save. And uh, for the next one, for the next one, let's create another member type when LB is equal to actual LB. Okay, so again, this is for 20 feet and this is for 30 feet. Okay, LB is equal to 1. The factor is equal to 1, 1 multiplied by the LB is actually L. Okay, let's save. Let's try the first one when LB is equal to 0. Click the member, number, number 1, and apply. Okay. Let's just change the graphical representation. Here you see this is uh, when beam L when LB is equal to zero. Okay. Okay. Let's verify the member number one and calculation. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's investigate our result. Okay. So go to the detailed results here. The robot is calculating all required like uh, MP, M, M, and Y, and M lateral torsional buckling. All the required strength calculations here. So here about the y-axis, as you see, the MP and plastic is this value, and also M lateral torsional buckling is equal to this value, meaning the MP and plastic is governed. Okay, about y-axis. And here also, this is a design phi multiplied by M plastic equal to this value. Let's check our example here. As you see, the MN is equal to M plastic. The M plastic is equal to FY by the inelastic section modulus. Okay, so here, and when we uh, calculate the design strength, this is phi multiplied by MN. This is phi 0.9 and multiplied by M plastic, we got 431 feet cubes. Here we got exactly 431.25 feet per cubes. This is a simplified, a simplified results here. Yeah, exactly. We got the result from the example. Let's try. Let's try the second scenario here. Embrace it length of 20 feet. Okay. Let's change the member type of this structure. When LB is equal to actual LB. What, that, what does that mean? So when the LB for this beam is equal to 20 feet and LB for this structure is 30 feet. Okay. Let's start by 1 and 2. Selecting 1 and 2. Here, all the when B, B, when LB is equal to actual L. Okay, one and two. Okay, calculation. Our oh, strength is out of dates or results. Yes. Okay, member verification and calculation. Okay, this is a simple member. Number one. Okay, so you see that. Let's calculate M. Here you see the about Y axis. This is M plastic, meaning this M plastic is 479 keeps it. Okay. But the M N about the M N for lateral torsional buckling is 380 when C B is equal to 1 here. So here the, the lateral torsional buckling moment will govern over the M plastic because it's smaller. Okay. So as I said before, the Failure mode of this beam will occur here in elastic lateral torsional buckling when L is between LP and LR. Let's let's uh, investigate about the LP and LR. In the example, 
I calculated the LR is 20 foot, okay? And LP, LP here is 8. So our unbraced length is 20 feet. It's between 8.69 and between 29.28, okay? So let's get that, that result from robot. You see here, here exactly, CB is equal to 1, and LB and braced length is equal to 20 feet, and LPY is equal 8.69, and also LRY 29.80. This LB is between this value and this value. That's why our failure mode is inelastic lateral torsional pattern. Okay, so the simplified result, this is MN, Y comes from design moment from inelastic lateral torsional pathway here. This is multiplied by 5, 342. Let's get the result from the example. Um, yeah, exactly. 343 here, 342.6. Exactly the same result. For the third one, our LB is equal to 3 feet. It's larger than even LR because LR is equal to 29.28. Okay, so let's get let's uh, review the result from robot here. As you see, as you see here, LB is equal to 30 feet and LPY and LRY are the same as before. Okay, so this is the design moment from plastic moment. It will not govern. This is design moment from uh, elastic lateral torsional buckling when CB is equal to 1. Okay, so here, this is the result when uh, design moment is equal to 261. Here also, 262. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope you got something new about the BM design using ASIC 360 and see you soon.